What's going on peeps? So today we're gonna to do some logistics blocks. I've got two back-to-back -back blocks, two till five and half five until nine. As you can see, I've just arrived for my first block. So we'll get the bags and we'll get cracking. Right then, got all of our parcels in the back. On our way to drop number one, and we will get started on finding out whether logistics is better than Morrison's. Because my experience pretty much is all Morrison's because of where I live, and I only really bother with logistics if I can do two back-to-back -back blocks. So that's what we're gonna do. For block number one, we are heading just slightly west of Exeter, and it looks like there's a few drops in the countryside, some farms. I don't think we're going right out to the sticks. We're not going complete rural Devon. We will find out once we've done the first few drops how our route's looking. But yeah, I'm feeling good. We have got 21 parcels across, I think, 13 drops, and they don't look that far apart. So there's a good chance that we could be done early with this block. And I tell you what, the first thing I need to do when I get there is take this coat off. It is not cold enough. I've got a new tab on my work spreadsheet, specifically for Amazon logistics blocks. That's an interesting time to try and come in, mate. So we'll input the time we start and end, how many miles we did, what we got paid from Amazon, and it'll work out the profit for us. Oh, I forgot to mention the pay. This three hour block is 49 pounds 50, and the three and a half is 54.50. So the base rate was boosted just a tiny bit for this block. I'm not entirely sure why, because I booked both of these blocks a couple of days ago. I did worry that it was maybe a slightly more difficult route or a long route, but it doesn't seem to be that way. We are approaching our first drop. Yeah, I get the feeling we're gonna be spending the majority of our time in villages and countryside for this block, which to be honest, despite some of the trickier roads, can be a hell of a lot easier than city center blocks during the day when you've got to worry about parking. And we're going down this lane apparently. Well, well, well. Our first drop is indeed a farm. Roads like this are fine. Just give me normal tarmac <laughs> and it won't be a problem. Oh, cattle grid. Hey, birds. How you all doing? None of them are interested in me at all. We gonna get a little look from this one. Hey, bird, you good? Right, enough messing around. I think we're dropping off two parcels here. All right, got that first one done. Didn't have time to switch to the chest cam. I'm ill prepared. I should have already had it on. And now we're saying goodbye to the sheep. So far, I know it's hard to tell from the first drop, but I do think we're gonna finish this one a bit early. But to be honest, I'd rather finish the second one early because then I can go home. <laughs> There's this, Finishing this first one early doesn't really help me in any way because I've got a second block anyway. Right, let's crack on with these next few drops. Right, so five drops done so far. They were all pretty close together pretty much all down the same road, just stopping at different houses. And we're now six minutes away from the next one. So far, so good. I really can't imagine us not finishing this one early, to be honest. If the rest of the block is anything like those first few drops, we're in for a good one. I've got to say, one of the reasons I do like coming down to Exeter every now and then and doing these, number one, I've mentioned it before on my uh, typical day video, that it's nice to have things for variety doing the same thing, especially food delivery, where you're within a very, very small radius for the whole day. It gets really, really boring. But secondly, I just like going to areas that I've never been to before. Like for what other reason would I be driving down this country lane and seeing the farms, the wildlife and the scenery? It's just nice sometimes. Sometimes it's not, you're not focusing on money or efficiency or whatever. You're just trying to, you're just trying to get through the day, get through the week without going insane. And if you do do this job full time, as in self-employed courier work, being able to get out and do deliveries in areas that you would never go to otherwise and that in, often you've never been to before, it can just be really nice and, and just help the week go a bit quicker. Obviously, if you're trying to maximize your profit per mile, 
probably isn't worth driving too far. But if you're like me and sometimes you're not bothered if maybe you do do a few more miles than you need to, then it's really nice to come and do sometimes. Aww. See, this is what I mean. You don't get stuff like this in towns and cities. Although this little guy's been a bit stubborn. Oh, and his mate. You gonna stay out the way, buddy? I really don't wanna hurt you. There we go. But yeah, just things like that. It's just nice. And sometimes I don't mind doing a bit of extra driving just to get a bit of variety. Let's go through. Oh, by the way, I'm filming this video for the first time in 4K. Now that isn't necessarily because I feel I need my videos to be in 4K, but it is the only option on my GoPro which allows me to select 30 frames a second without going to 1080p. And the reason I want to do 30 frames a second today is because the second block, we're pretty much gonna be doing most of that in darkness because the sun is going down a lot earlier now that we are into October. And 30 frames a second allows the camera to pick up a bit more light, which is much needed for those nighttime shots. So yeah, a bit of an experiment to see how that fares. I'm sorry if you enjoyed the smooth 60 frames videos that I've done so far, but today we're at 30 frames a second. I know a lot of people say 30 frames is the best for video anyway. We'll see. Do you happen to know in Fantastic, that'll do for me. Oh, you could be. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nice right. one, perfect. Thank you very much. Oh. Thank you, cheers for that. Now that's not a bad view, is it? So it's just gone half past three. We're halfway through the block. I've only got four drops left. We're gonna be done well early. So I'm pretty happy about that. That'll give me plenty of time to uh, whack the figures into my spreadsheet and film the summary. And I might even have a little bit of time to go and get myself a cheeky McDonald's or something. Depends how close I am to one. But yeah, can't complain about this route. This is probably one of the easiest logistics routes I've ever had. I've only done a few. This is probably like my 10th or 11th block I've ever done from Exeter. But even in that time, I've had some stinkers. So having a route like this is uh, certainly welcome. And as this is the first block I will be putting into my spreadsheet to track the pay for Amazon Logistics, it's gonna put it off to a good start, I think, because I reckon we're gonna be done in two hours instead of the three. Mileage has been relatively low. With four drops to go, I'm on 24 miles. What I'll do is from wherever I finish, I will look up the route on Google Maps back to the depot, see how long it is and see how long it would take and then we'll add those miles and that amount of time onto the block. With any Amazon block, I like to always take into consideration a trip back to the depot. Even if it's your last block and you're going home and you've done your last delivery right next to your house, I think it's only fair to include that final journey. Okie dokie, let's get this one dropped off. Two drops two parcels to go. Ooh, we're really in the sticks now. As long as the roads are nice to drive on, I love coming down places like this. Feels like you're driving through the depths of a forest. Hello, buddy. Look at this good boy. Hello. Hello. I gotta go now. See you later. I know you've got to be careful with dogs in this job, but when it's a good boy like that, oh, it just cheers you up, doesn't it? Right. Last drop. We're done. That was the easiest 50 quid I think I've made doing this gig. Can't beat these views though. Might just stay here for an hour and have a look at that. Gorgeous. Gotta love Devon. All right guys, so that block's done. I've just pulled over in some like random lay-by. So let's just draw down these numbers because we've done very, very well from that. I finished my last drop at 3.58. So that was one hour and 58 minutes. And the mileage was 27.5. I've added on 6.9 miles and 18 minutes to account for the drive back to the depot, which I haven't done yet, because there can be so many different things that happen at the end of a block. Sometimes you go straight home because you're close. Sometimes you have to go back to the depot. So just including a drive back, even if you don't have to go back, seems the fairest way of figuring out the actual pay for this job. And obviously in this case, I am actually driving back to the depot. I just haven't done it yet because I've still got an hour and a half to wait. So with the drive back included, the block would have taken us two hours and 16 minutes, still way under the three hours we got and the mileage would have been 34.4 so that includes that drive back so from the 49 pounds 50 income we received for the block we spent five pounds 40 on fuel one pounds 13 on insurance 
So we're left with a net profit of £42.97, which is an hourly rate of £18.96. That's one of the best hourly rates I've ever had from any kind of Amazon block. So I'm very, very happy with how this first block has gone. Right, I'm gonna chill out, go and get some food, and I'll see you back at Exeter for our second block. Right, we're back. It is 17 minutes past five. So I'm a little bit early, but that's fine. We'll just have to sit and wait for a few minutes. Don't know if it's the same at all depots. They don't let you load here until everyone's arrived. And the same for leaving. Everyone needs to be packed up and ready to go. Right, hazards on. All right, checked in. I showed him my license and we are going to lane two. I think that's what he said anyway. Anyway, I will see you back when I've got the bags. We are out, we have got the bags and I'm a very, very happy man because look at my route. We are going to Taunton, baby. And if you didn't already know, Taunton is where I live. So that works out very well for me as long as I don't have to bring back any parcels. Now, obviously I will still include the time and mileage back to the Exeter Depot in my final hourly rate calculations. There are a few deliveries outside of Taunton to get done first, including this first drop which is 39 minutes away so a bit of a drive to drop number one but that takes us pretty close to Taunton and then we head to our homeland for the rest of the deliveries I don't think today really could have gone much better we had a super easy block number one and then my second block is taking me to the town where I live can't ask for a much better couple of blocks than that let's crack on and get to drop number one Real tricky, quick to flip a pretty penny to a thick stack, quick stack. Think fast and I talk real. I give a fuck about how they feel. Me and Zay just dropped a propane and it sounded like massive pill. For my dog, I'm a ride to the wheels kill. Got his hand on the hammer, so keep it legit. Right, we're about 10 minutes, four miles from drop number one. And I'm pretty excited to get this one underway. Now, obviously, personally, I'm very happy that I'm delivering in Taunton. But I need to remember that when it comes to the profit calculations, this is still quite far away from Exeter and I'll still be including that drive back to the Exeter Depot in the final calculation for profit. Because the fact that I live in Taunton, uh, it doesn't make the calculation relevant to other people. It would just be relevant to me. So that's why I'm always gonna include that drive back because I think starting at the depot and ending at the depot, that's the right way to calculate the pay. Because sometimes you finish in a brilliant place that's better than finishing at the depot. Sometimes you finish in a place that's worse than finishing at the depot. So if I just include that drive back to the depot on every calculation I make, it all averages out nicely. So yeah, personally, I'm very, very happy. But if I take an objective view, going to Taunton from Exeter and then back to Exeter, it's quite a long drive. So for most people, this might not actually be a very good route. So that's the number we're gonna be focusing on at the end. So I've just dropped off this parcel. We're going to another farm now, just up there. And then we're going into Taunton. Rightio, with our farm drop-offs complete. Look at that view, wow, so nice. But we are now heading to Taunton, where we will spend the rest of our route. I believe there are 23 or 24 packages. And the first three are going to an Amazon locker inside the Premier Inn, or one of the Premier Inns in Taunton. Quite enjoy doing the uh, locker deliveries. Super straightforward, no one needs to be in. You don't have to worry about dings from people saying they didn't receive their parcel. You just go to the locker, scan your phone, put the parcels in, off you go, job done. So I'll obviously show you that. And then I believe the rest are just standard house deliveries. Ooh, spooky. These roads look so cool at night. Kind of freaky, you wouldn't want to break down here. Aha, here it is. There we get check-in code. Scan that there. And now we scan these in one by one. Easy peasy. All my next few drops are pretty local, so I'm gonna crack through a few and I'll come back to you in a bit. Really with it, I ain't got a pump fade. Uh, Kill a floor and hit yeah. up with the one tape. Please tell me what's to them boys, I know they ain't talking about me. Hold up. All up in the DMs for the feature, I know they ain't talking about free. Shouting no lie, no leap. I ain't gonna lose no sleep, you don't have an G. What you gonna sow, you gonna reap. Bet I'm gonna kill what I eat by the end of this beat. Pull up, honey, my tea. Pull up, pep in your step, I bet on my soul. 
All right, so the last eight, nine, 10 drops, something like that have all been in this area. We got them done in what? 25 minutes, something like that. Yeah, we are halfway through the block in terms of number of drops, but they're all so close that it isn't gonna take us another hour and a half. I reckon an hour tops. So yeah, feeling good. Should finish this one early as well. Although if we have to factor in half an hour back to Exeter, probably gonna go slightly beyond nine o'clock, but that's fairly standard as the time obviously doesn't include your commute home or your trip back to the depot, which it should. I've always said they should factor in that trip to the depot because especially if you do this job by the book and you actually return parcels when they're not deliverable and you don't just leave them at the door anyway, like let's be honest, many drivers do, then you're gonna be going back to the depot a fair bit. So yeah, you know, it seems a little bit, a little bit naff that they don't take that into account on the base pay. I don't know, do they? Amazon might argue that they do, but I don't know about that. Oh, this van's getting a bit close to that inside lane. But yeah, this is like the longest drive I've had since I've been into Taunton and we're still nearly at the drop. Barely got any time to talk to you guys. So in case you're wondering, I don't keep the GoPro on my head when I'm out of the car. It goes onto my chest. And when the drops are all so close together, there's absolutely no point in me constantly swapping it. Cheers, man. I think we're on about 10 drops left now. 10 to eight, we're doing all right for time. Ideally, if I could have this done by half eight, I'd be well happy with that. We'll have to wait and see how close all these drops are. I've got a feeling they're all very close. So we might even manage it. There's no way this block is gonna pay as much as the last one did in terms of an hourly rate, because this is a much more full route, a much more standard length one. You know, I've got enough parcels here to keep me busy. And if I was a little bit slower, it would certainly take me until nine o'clock. Five drops to go. We are absolutely ragging through them now. I want to get this block finished. It is 10 past eight. I reckon we'll be done by half past. We have a smooth run on these last five. I'm very much looking forward to going through the numbers and seeing how my hourly rate for this block, bearing in mind a drive back to Exeter, to the depot, how that compares to earlier on. Thanks, mate. Hello there. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Oh, the last three drops is 20 past eight. Are we gonna get this done before half past? It's gonna be close. I probably would if it wasn't for uh, GoPro management. Oh no, is this learner gonna slow us down? Come on, buddy. Work with me. I've got to say, if, uh, if every day doing two logistics blocks in a row were, was this easy, I'd do it a lot more. But with my distance from Exeter, it's only worth doing it if I can get the two in a row. But even then, sometimes you get taken down to like Dawlish, which leaves me like an hour from my house. So I'm probably not gonna do them unless it's for content. And the learner is out of our way. Still driving at the speed limit, don't worry. No cheating here. But yeah, I gotta say, if this was my first time doing it, and I was led to believe that all blocks were this straightforward, then hell yeah, I would do them. Just the loading up and the delivery at each drop is a lot easier than Morrison's because you're just dealing with less weight. The worst thing about Morrison's is going in with the trolley, loading up the bags, sometimes having to do two trips and just the weight of the bags. You don't get any of that with logistics. Oh, two drops left, it's 25 past. Uh, that's not gonna happen before half past, is it? Last one. Oh, guys, we are two minutes from our last drop. Probably not even that and we just missed our half past eight target. Never mind, a couple of minutes passed, not a big deal. But yeah, definitely if you were uh, to do this block and not film it for YouTube with a GoPro, probably would have had this done at about 20 past. Just a little bit more micromanagement to do during the block with the filming, but I still take this one as a slight win. Let's get this last one dropped off. Sorry, wrong door. Oh, sorry, mate. No, that's right. <laughs> Did you knock on this one? Yeah, I've knocked on yeah, this one no, now. Sorry, sorry, mate. That's no, right, mate. Cheers. Just knocked on the wrong door. That's me rushing. Oh, you know what? This can go in the letterbox. 
Oh, we finally got it done. 8.34. Four minutes late. Never mind. Sorry about the lighting, by the way. All I've got is uh, the car light here. So I've plugged the numbers in. That block was bad. Now, I wasn't thinking about how bad it actually was because I knew the whole time that from wherever I end up, it's only going to be like two miles home. But obviously, for my calculations, I am factoring in that drive back to the depot. So it was a 3.5 hour block. It took us just over three hours, but including the drive back, which was 36 minutes to get back to the Exeter depot, we are looking at 3.7 hours. So that's not good. And with the mileage, which is 33 miles from here back to the Exeter depot, it would have been 82 miles. Luckily, I only did 59. But still, imagine if I had to drive back and a lot of people would have to. Fuel cost was £12.87 and insurance was £1.85. Take that off of our £54.50 and our net profit is actually lower than the first block. £39.78 for an hourly rate of just £10.75. Now, obviously, I made slightly more than that because I'm not driving back to Exeter. But £10.75 an hour compared to £18.96 from the first block, that is a big variance. I mean, I knew that Amazon Flex blocks vary. You get good routes, you get bad routes, but to vary from 10.75 an hour to nearly 19 pounds an hour, that's after all expenses have been accounted for and mileage back to the depot is really unbelievable. I can see why a lot of people say to only take boosted rates on Amazon Flex, because we didn't even make 11 pounds an hour on this block if we're taking a full journey back into account. But I think it was probably good for me to see the variance all in one day. We had a great block to begin with, and then a pretty poor one. Overall today, we made an average of £14.85 an hour, which you could argue is pretty good. That's after all expenses, including drives back to the depot. So overall today, I'm pretty happy, but I wouldn't be if I'd have had two blocks with an hourly rate like we've just had now. Looks like we're gonna have to do more logistics blocks. If the variance is that high, it's gonna take a little while to get an accurate average, but I'm determined to, for the greater good, because everyone should know what to expect when doing this job. It's all very well Amazon Flex saying you can earn between X and X, but no, really, what is the average hourly rate you're gonna make after expenses? That's what we're gonna find out. We're gonna keep doing these logistics blocks, expect more videos like this in the future. Let me know if you've enjoyed this uh, double logistics block video. Like I said, I don't go to Exeter particularly often because it's just too far. I'm pretty much only gonna do it for these videos. So yeah, let me know if you enjoyed it. Guys, thank you for watching as always, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.